Oh, come on. How is this game so hard? You know what? I'm not playing anymore. Now, you may be wondering why I showed you a game that literally looks like a hybrid of Pong and soccer. This game was completely made in Pygame, one of Python's many extensive modules. Pygame allows you to create animations and games, kind of like Scratch, but instead of using blocks of code, you actually have to write the code yourself. Although that may seem like a lot of work, it's actually pretty easy once you get the hang of it. This game can actually be broken down into three simple steps. The physics of the bounce, goal detection, and scorekeeping. In this video, I'll be talking about the first and most important step, the physics of the bounce. Let me briefly explain how the bounce works. As shown in the diagram, when a ball is traveling in a 2D plane, its speed vector can be broken down into two variables, the x velocity and the y velocity. When the ball is hitting a wall, in this case the wall is vertical, the wall pushes the ball backwards along the x-axis only, assuming the wall is smooth. According to Newton's third law, the vx, which is the x-velocity, will become negative vx. However, the vy, which is the y-velocity, would remain unchanged. If the wall was horizontal instead of vertical, the vy would be reversed and the vx would remain the same. All right, so now I'm going to do a quick hands-on programming session uh, where we try to code up um, the physics of the bounce. So if you don't have Python or you didn't download it yet, the link will be in the description. So go ahead and click on that and download it. And after that, just in your search bar, type IDLE, and then you should see like Python IDLE. And when you open that, it should open this window, Python shell. But we can't code in here. This is where all the output and errors uh, appear. So instead, we create a new file and save it. Press Control S and give it a name. Bounce three. And then now we're ready to code. So first thing we're going to do is import Pygame. Uh, that just imports the Pygame module. And then we're going to initialize Pygame by typing pygame.init. And then right after that, we're going to define a screen. So type screen equals to pygame.display.set mode. And then we have to define a screen size as well. So I'm going to do 512 by 512. And note that these are all in pixels. So now we can do our game loop. And what game loop is, is it's basically a loop that runs frame by frame. So Think of this as like stop motion, like you take a picture and then you update your screen and then take another picture. Yeah, that's basically how Pygame works. And we actually have to add a little bit of delay. We don't want it to run like every nanosecond or something. So instead of like import time over here and then type time.sleep 0.01. So every loop, um, every round of the loop, it'll wait 0.01 seconds and then continue. So, now we gotta add a ball to our screen. So, to draw a ball on our screen, all we have to do is type ball equals to pygame.draw.circle. And then we have to draw on a screen. So, we're obviously gonna draw on the screen we just created. So, type screen. And then the next argument is color. I'm gonna make mine red. Uh, that's red in RGB. And next parameter is position. So I'm actually going to define two variables called x and y. And this is just for the position. 50. So, and put put them in parentheses like this. And then for the last argument, it's just the radius of the circle. I'm going to make I'm going to make mine 10. And then at the end, we have to update our screen and to do that, we just type pygame.display.update. Now let's test this real quick. And you can see the ball is on the screen, but it's not moving. To add movement, all we have to do is create two new variables called vx and vy. And I'm just gonna set them to five and three. Uh, 
respectively. And at, after we draw the ball, we have to update the ball's x position and y position. So just type x equals to x plus vx, y equals to y plus vy. So this just updates the position. And after all of this, after we update the screen, we actually have to reset the screen so we don't draw multiple circles. We only want to see one circle. So just type screen.fill000, which is black in RGB. And this should make the, yeah, it should make the ball just move. But it's not bouncing off the screen. So for our ball to bounce off the screen, we actually have to detect which wall it's hitting. And to do that, we can use the coordinates. So in Pygame, the coordinates start at 0, 0. Um, like the 0, 0 is basically the top left of the screen. And uh, the length and width, the length and width of your screen is basically the bottom right. So let's just say our ball is hitting this left wall, right? Um, so the coordinates for this left wall would be, uh, this would be zero, zero, that star is a point. And then the bottom of this wall would be zero width of your core screen. And in this case, that's just 512. Okay, so we have to check if the ball's coordinates is within the range of this, right? So to do that, we have to use an if, if statement. So if the x coordinate of the ball is greater than or equal to zero, or less than or equal to zero, so if the x coordinate is around zero, and the y coordinate is between um, zero and two, 512, so if the y coordinate is greater than or equal to zero, and it's less than or equal to 512, then we know that our ball is hitting the left wall. So we just reverse Vx, okay? And we do the same thing for the right wall, but instead of x being um, less than or equal to zero, we want x to be greater than or equal to 512. And then the rest of the if is just the same thing. And okay. And then we're going to reverse Vx. Now we just got to code the top and bottom um, walls. And to do that, just copy these if statements and switch every x to a y and switch every y to an x. So this x would be, yeah, just x would be y, y would be x, and then x, y, y. It's basically the direct opposite. And now this should work. So it should bounce off the screen. And you can see it's working. And yeah, that's it for this tutorial. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Bye.